part three growing growing community community Jesus grows us to love one another. So we work together to deepen our friendships and try to build a community where relationships are real and supportive. And where all are welcomed, we want our hospitality to overflow to the wider community, making new friendships and strengthening, and strengthening old ones. There are many different ways that we have continued to connect people and maintain and develop our fellowship over this last year. The Outlook team continued to pro produce, print and deliver the Village magazines. During the first lockdown, it was just one sheet containing essential information, local COVID support. We returned to the full issue as we came out of lockdown last summer and the team have continued to make the magazine for free to every home in the parish. Our shower tea drop-in, coffee morning, meeting point went online during lockdown. We managed meet on Zoom for conversation, coffee and cake most weeks when in lockdown. Last autumn, we were able to meet in church for a brief spell between lockdowns. It's great to be meeting again now, and we look forward to when we can stop serving wraps, biscuits, and enjoy Sally's food. We continue to run community events in the last year. We ran to events entirely online. Two safari suppers, a charity games evening, a Christmas quiz, a Christmas lockdown taskmaster challenge, and a giant murder mystery evening. We also ran some face-to-face -face events in a Covid secure way. Free Edge Hill fitness games, a reduce the home dance challenge, <laughs> Some slightly damp village carol singing on 18th December. And then more carols the next day when it was dry, with a fabulous brass band as we sang together. For the carols at the wedding. Hundreds of people from across the area took part in these events over the year, and through them we have raised over £4,000 for local charities, mainly in the playgroup and the Friends of Primary School. Again, all of these resources, events and activities were only possible because of a team of people that helped to plan, promote and organise them. Thank you to the wide range of people that made them happen, took part and donated to our chosen charities. Whilst all the above has been happening, work has continued on the building project. We've got an agreement for our outline proposals and commissioned several surveys needed for the next steps. We hope to put an expression of interest in which the National Lottery in the next few weeks. There is more that has been going on than we have for this short video, but we hope this gives you a flavour of what has been happening in this last year. In the turmoil that we have all been going through, it's helpful to look back and remember the many good things that God has done among us and look forward to the things he is calling us to do as we emerge from the pandemic. Thank you to everyone for all that you've contributed into the many dimensions of the life of our church in the last year and a huge thank you to God for being with us through all of it. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being with us for this last year. Thank you for being there and all the highs and lows, all the joys and sorrows, all the happiness, sadness, anger and grief. Thank you for all the creative energy and talent you have given our church and for the ways you have inspired us to love you 
serve people and grow community. Help us to keep following your son Jesus. Help, help us to keep praying, learning, serving and growing so that we might become the people you call us to be. Amen.